Warning, this video and channel may not be suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. With that being said, hope you enjoy. You have been warned. I've never made a political video here on my channel before. Rarely have I ever really talked about politics here at all here on my channel. But I did say I would bring discussion videos back to the channel. The last discussion video I did being a video about MLB 20 the show and the lack of features in franchise mode. Which, you know, looking back on it's kind of funny now because I actually own MLB 20 the show now picked it up for like 10 bucks at Walmart. It was 10 bucks and I figured what the hell, why not? I know that kind of makes me look like a little bit of a hypocrite now considering what I said in that video, but eh, what the heck? I already have the game now. Can't take it back. I already already unwrapped the damn thing, so I can't take it back to Walmart. But that's a story for another day. I I didn't want to make this video. I really didn't want to make this video. And by the way, the game in the background is Days Gone. It's the uh, video that I uploaded earlier today. As I'm recording this, I'm currently uploading the uh, Days Gone video with commentary. Um, the one I actually recorded, I'm uploading that right now as I'm doing this. But I didn't want to do this. I really didn't want to make a video talking about this subject because... Politics, to me, are something I don't really like talking about. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done a video fully on politics here on my channel, but I couldn't get this out of my head. I couldn't shake this off my mind, and I'm going to speak my opinion here, and I don't give a fuck who gets pissed. I don't care who gets offended. I don't care if you want to unsub for me. I don't care if you want to dislike the video. I don't care if you want to leave thousands of hate comments and, well... I don't think I'll get that many, but I don't care if you want to leave hate comments in the comment section below. I don't care if you hate my freaking guts after what I say, but this needs to be said. So, I'm pretty sure everybody and their mother is currently aware of the situation going on in Washington, D.C. right now. Um, the inauguration of Joe Biden is coming up in a few days. It's actually on January 20th. His literally coming up within the next week or two and all the Trump supporters are losing their fucking mind and they tried to have some some like vote runoff thing I think in Georgia I I don't really I didn't really keep up with it but they had something to do with Georgia and it was proven that Joe Biden won the state of Georgia and when that happened they decided to take the electoral votes and take them to the Senate so they can officially name Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. Well, while they were doing that, a whole freaking, basically, army of Trump supporters showed up and basically wreaked havoc on Washington, D.C. It started out peacefully, but then all of a sudden it just went into just absolute pure chaos. Like, like right here, you see, you know, the big pile of you know, burn bodies and everything. Well, they weren't burning bodies or anything, but they were burning a lot of stuff from what I saw. You had Trump supporters all over the place, you know, jumping on top of old statues, defacing public property, government property, breaking into the Capitol building, going into the where the Senate usually, you know, sits and has their meetings. Just a whole bunch of crazy shit. And... Uh, somebody actually died from it, if I remember correctly. I think somebody got shot and killed because they tried to break into the Capitol building and there were guards around and the guards shot them and basically killed them dead. So somebody did die from this. It was a female. Somebody did die from these protests. And, you know, it went on for pretty much all day and it even went into the very next day. And as I'm recording this video, it's still somewhat going on. It's it's calmed down a little bit. 
Obviously, it's been a few days since it all started. It's calmed down a little bit, but it's still pretty bad out there. And to me, stuff like this is ridiculous. Because I look at it like this. Here's how I look at it. You're mad because your president is being, you know, voted out of office. Okay. You're mad because you believe the vote was rigged, you believe everything was rigged so that Joe Biden could win. Okay. Does that give you the excuse to go around in Washington, D.C. and deface public property, government property, break into the Capitol building, threaten government officials, basically start a mass hysteria in Washington, D.C. and cause one of the biggest large-scale riots this country has ever seen? Did that give you the excuse to do that shit? No. Where were you people? Here's my question to you. Where were you people when young black men were getting shot in the streets by corrupt police officers? Oh yeah, I fucking went there. Where were you? Where were you when young black men we're getting shot in the streets, and, and I know my friend Shy has his opinion on it. He has his whole opinion on the whole George Floyd thing. This is my opinion. Where were you people? As controversial as some of those individuals' lives were, where were you people? Were you going around rioting, throwing temper tantrums, you know, breaking into the Capitol building, causing the government and the whole... Washington, D.C. to go into a state of panic. Did you do that? No. And in no way, shape, or form am I inciting violence. I know that this video probably is going to get me in trouble with the YouTube guidelines. And honestly, I don't really give a shit. Because the truth needs to be fucking said. Where were you? Oh, I know where you were. Sitting at home, brandishing your guns. They ain't taking away my guns because a, group of, because a couple of black people got killed by corrupt police officers. <laughs> no, you people were just sitting at home, brandishing your guns, drinking your beer, supporting Donald Trump because you don't give a flying fuck about the innocent black people that were losing their fucking lives in the street due to corrupt police officers. You want to know why there's players in the NFL, players in the NBA that protest the national anthem? You want to know why? Because they're trying to stand up. And even though I don't personally agree with what they do, I understand why they do what they do. Because they're protesting something that actually means something to them. They're trying to make a stand for something that actually means something to them. Colin Kaepernick started this whole movement, right? Where's Colin Kaepernick now? Does he have a job in the NFL? Did he get hired as a backup quarterback, a starting quarterback for any NFL team? No. Has the CFL hired him? No. XFL? Well, the XFL is going to come back next year, so we'll, we'll see. But do I see them hiring him? No. Oh, but Antonio Brown can get a job. Antonio Brown, who treated his wife and family like fucking garbage, and is a freaking psychomaniac, he can get a job before Colin Kaepernick, right? Makes sense, right? Anyway, I, I'm not going to discuss that. Uh, that's a topic for another day. But where were you people when young black people were getting killed by police officers? Or, let's spin it around. And I'm going to get even more personal here. Where were you people, where were you people when young ch school children were getting gunned down and mowed down and shot and killed at school? Where were you? When your flesh and blood, the young kids who are going, who hopefully are going to make this country better in the future, are getting gunned down at school. You know, when I was in school a few years, well, many years ago, it's been about eight to nine years since I last went to school. When I went to school, 
and all those school shootings were going on, was I nervous? Yes. Yes, I was. I didn't know if somebody was going to come barging into my school, brandishing a gun, shooting everybody. I didn't know if that was going to happen. I didn't want it to happen. Nobody should. But did you people storm the Capitol building? Did you people riot in the streets of Washington? Did you people, you know, try to force change? To try to get change, you know, done? No. When innocent school children, innocent school children, Sandy Hook Elementary, remember that? Remember all those little kindergartners that got shot and killed by a deranged madman who before killed his mother and then went to the freaking school and shot up all the kindergartens? Did anything come out of that? Did anything change after that? Did, did we get different gun laws? Did anything change after that? No. Aurora, Colorado. Did anything change after that? No. The Las Vegas shooting, did anything change after that? Were there any change made after that? Did anybody protest? No. Now, about the black people getting killed by corrupt police officers, the only person, the only group of people I ever really saw protest about that were Black Lives Matter. And I have my personal opinion on Black Lives Matter. I'm not going to discuss it here. I know my friend Shy. Uh, my friend Shy, he's black, and he has his personal opinion about Black Lives Matter. I'm not going to discuss that here. But it seems like, to me, the only group of people I saw, you know, trying to say something were athletes and Black Lives Matter. Trump supporters? <laughs> I didn't see not one. Not one. And I'm going to let this be known. I don't give a shit. I personally detest Trump. I think he's a fucking idiot. I think he's a fucking moron. Has he done some good things? Yes. But honestly, I don't fucking give a shit. I think the guy is a freaking idiot. I think he's a freaking moron. And I'll be glad when he leaves the oath of office come January 20th. I know as of recording this, they're trying to impeach him for a second time. Which I think is just literally stupid. It's like Joe Biden's about to become president anyway. Why do you want to impeach Donald Trump? Why? So you can give Pence the shortest term of president in history? What, a few days? Woo. I mean, it, whatever. But this is ridiculous. Like, this whole situation is ridiculous. You people didn't protest when, you know, you people didn't go out and start a freaking riot or anything. And again, it's like I said, I'm not trying to incite violence. I'm not trying to say, you know, go out there and actually cause a riot. You know, go out there and actually burn down property or anything. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you people didn't do that when young black men were getting shot down in the street by local police officers. You people didn't do that when school children were getting mowed down at school. Oh, because you're so you're so worried about, you know, losing your guns that you got all butt hurt whenever somebody mentioned something about gun laws. Oh, but the second that your president loses the election, oh, now it's time to get out the torches and pitchforks and, you know, storm Washington and burn down the Capitol building and burn down public property and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Ridiculous, dude. All because your president didn't win the election. Boo fucking who? Cry me a river and, and cry me a river and go swim in it. And if you can't swim, you might as well freaking drown. Because honestly, I don't give a shit. A lot of people share the same opinion that I do. They don't give a shit. This is ridiculous. The stuff that I had to see. The stuff that I had to see. On the news. And I rarely watch the news, but it was all over the place. You could not avoid it. The stuff that I was seeing absolutely disgusted me. My father, if he was still alive today, would be absolutely disgusted at what this country has turned itself into. My father served in the Vietnam War. He fought for this country. Nearly died 
for this country. He would be disgusted at seeing what this country turns itself into. People rioting because their favorite president lost the election. Boo hoo! There's bigger and more important things to worry about than Donald Trump losing the election of President of the United States. Who gives a fuck? And I know I said I would I would tone down on the swearing here on my channel, but damn it, I'm fucking pissed off. I'm fucking now, now I'm getting fucking pissed. Now I'm getting pissed because of all the other things that you people could be rioting or protesting about. You're, you're rioting and protesting over the stupidest of things. You're burning down property and breaking into the Capitol building and breaking into the Senate for the most stupidest of things. Grow up. Donald Trump claimed that he's going to try to run for president in 2024. Wait four years and then if you want, vote the guy back in the office. I personally would not like it, but hey, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. You want to put Donald Trump back in office, wait four more years, and maybe you'll have a second chance come 2024. Hell, if you think about it, if you give him a second term, if he runs for president in 2024, technically Donald Trump would be president for 12 years if he got a second term in 2028. So you'd be giving Donald Trump 12 years in office since uh, of, as president of the United States. The last time a president served more than eight years as president of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt back in the 1940s, in the 1930s and 1940s. That's the last time. You could do something that hasn't been done since the 1930s and 1940s. But no, no, let's just throw a temper tantrum now, you know, because, oh, we don't like Joe Biden. Personally, I don't really care for Joe Biden either. Do I want him over Trump? Yes. But do I personally care for him? No. I think Joe Biden's a fucking weirdo. I think Joe Biden's a fucking creep. I think, you know, some of the things that he said, I'm not going to I'm not going to say here because I probably would get really flagged off YouTube, but he said some things and made some remarks in the past that were controversial. But I'm willing to give him a chance. I gave Trump a chance too. I didn't, I obviously didn't care for Trump at the time. But I said, you know what, I'll give him a chance and let's see what happens. And while he has done some good things, he's done a lot more stupid crap than he has done good. I'm willing to give Joe Biden a chance. If he blows it, he blows it. If he's a piece of shit president, he's a piece of shit president. I'll come out and, you know, state that, hey, Joe Biden is a piece of shit president. Because I'm pretty sure I know this is not going to be the last political video I ever make here on this channel. This is the first, and obviously, most likely it won't be the last. You people are trying to start a civil war. You really are. You're trying to go back to the 1860s. You're trying to start a civil war in the United States between Trump supporters and everybody else because you're mad because your president lost the election and is, and got voted out. Am I nervous for January 20th? Am I nervous for everything coming after January 20th? Yes. I am. Yes, I am. Because if people got this pissed before Joe Biden takes the oath of office January 20th, Imagine how pissed they're going to be come January 20th and afterwards. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm nervous. I know that all hell is going to break loose. I know that there's going to be mass scale riots all over the place. I'm nervous and ashamed at what this country is going through right now. It's absolutely pathetic. Of all the things that you people could be protesting and doing what you're doing right now over, you're doing it over the most stupid of things. Grow up. And with that being said, that pretty much does it for this, I guess you could call it rant in a way. I could have gone a lot harder than I did. I really could have. I could have gone a lot harder, but honestly, you know, at this point, it ain't going to do no good. 
my voice is going to go unheard, you know, nobody's really going to give a shit, I'm probably going to get tons of hate comments on this video, I'm probably going to get tons of dislikes, I really don't give a shit, this is my opinion, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people share the same opinion as me. I'm hoping Shy does a video, I've actually recommended Shy to please do a video talking about this subject, and I hope he does a video talking about it, because I'm doing a video talking about it, so... I would hope that, you know, maybe he does a video talking about this. I'd love to hear his opinion about this. I would love to hear his opinion about this whole situation. You know, and because the difference between me and him is that he actually sort of likes Trump. He sort of likes him. I mean, he still thinks Trump's an idiot, of course. But I'd love to hear his opinion on this because he supports Trump a lot more than I do. Is he a full-on Trump supporter? No. But... He likes the guy a lot more than I fucking do. So, it would be interesting to hear his opinion on this whole situation. But, that's if he decides he wants to make a video about this or not. But, this is my opinion. And I'm pretty sure, is, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people, just like I said, have the same opinion as me. We're on the brink of a civil war. Over the most stupid of things. Grow the fuck up. Rant over. Peace.